Okay, so in this video, I will explain how to easily and quickly run the Hugging Face models in Google Colab. And how we do that is that the easiest way is to use the pipeline library. Okay, so we import the Hugging Face pipeline function. That is this. So from Transformers, import pipeline. And this is used to quickly load and run pre-trained models for different NLP tasks. Okay. And then next, we initialize the text generation pipeline. So this is, uh, we create another variable, generator, and then we use the pipeline function. And here, uh, the parameter, I use task. So uh, task is specifies what kind of task the model will perform. In this case, I will try to use uh, text generation. And then we specify the model. Uh, so this is loads the specified pre-trained model from hugging face. Uh, in this case, I'm using uh, Gemma 3B, fine tune with onslaught, and then uh, device 0, this is uh, tells the model to run on the first available GPU, and Collab easily provides one, and here I'm uh, using a T4 GPU, so this is use GPU in Google Collab, if available, okay? You can also add parameter tokenizer if you want to set the tokenizer manually. So uh, usually uh, you, you don't just use a pipeline, right? You use auto tokenizer and then auto model. So uh, when you use pipeline, uh, it automatically uh, choose the auto tokenizer for you and automatically choose the auto model for you. So you don't need to use uh, auto tokenizer and uh, auto model. Okay, you can you just use pipeline. Okay, that's it. And then next, we define the input prompt that you want the model to continue. So in this case, prompt is what is machine learning. And then you run the generator to produce text based on the prompt. And here, using generator, and then uh, create another variable results. So the max length is the maximum number of tokens, words, or supports to generate. And then um, do samples through. This is enables randomness in generation instead of deterministic output and truncation through trims the input if it's not too long for the model. But since this is just what is machine learning, so this is not too long. Okay. Uh, you can also add another other parameters such as min length, temperature, top k, top p, and num return sequences if you want to add uh, to the generator. Okay. Next, uh, we extract only the generated text from the output list okay and the result is a list of dictionaries with key key generated text so results and then we get the first element then the generated text this is the key and we get the value of that okay and then we get the value and then we display the generated text in the output so print generated text and here so device set to use CUDA 0 so we use the GPU and then there is the result Okay, this is the result, this is the generated text. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much.